Hello students. Let's learn about program to find the location of an element using binary search method in today's class. In program, first we have to include three header files, iostream.h to include input and output devices to the program file. Next header file, consolidated input output header file to execute the consolidated output statement and consolidated input statement. In next header file, iomanic.h input output manipulations to input the values and calculate and generate the output. Next, the program execution starts from while main function. In next step, we have to declare the local variables what we need for programming. One dimensional array A of 10, 10 it shows this number of elements or size. R for grouping, N for number of elements, M for to find out the middle value, LOC for to find the location of a search element. B, beginning, E, N, E, L, E to search the element of integer type, data type. The next control statement is see how, how many elements. If you enter the elements file, then A is written as far. The next statement is executed. Enter the elements using for loop 0 to 5 minus 5. Then it access the array elements 1 by 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Total 5 elements. In the next statement, it executes the statement. Enter the search element. Suppose you enter the search element 30, then ELE variable is written as 30. Next, look, LOC. Location value is initialize with the minus 1 and B value is initialize with the 0, E value is initialize with the N minus 1, N shows number of elements. In the next control statement using while loop here we are checking whether beginning value is less than or equal to N value. If it is true then it finds the middle value using the formula B plus E divided by 2. The next step, it checks the condition whether the search element is equal to middle value. If it is true, then it sets the location value as M. Otherwise, it goes to the else part, then one more condition is there, whether the search element is less than middle value. If it is true, then it finds the end value by incrementing the middle value by 1. The search element is not less than middle value, then it goes to the else part, then it says the beginning value is equal to B M plus 1. M value is incremented by 1, then it is assigned to the variable B. Then next one more condition is there, if location is greater than is equal to 0. Suppose location value is greater than or equal to 0, then it executes this statement location is equal to LOC. The next, suppose location value is not greater than or equal to 0, then it goes to the else part, then it executes the statement, search is unsuccessful. In the next moment, it ends the program execution by using the get CH function. For example, suppose we enter the 5 elements, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, then index values are A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3, A of 4. Suppose you enter the search element 30, then EL is written as 30, then beginning value is initialized with 0, end value is initialized with n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. The next using y loop here we are checking the condition whether the beginning value is less than is equal to e, 0 is less than or equal to 4. It is less than 4 then it find out the middle value 0 plus 4 divided by 2 we get the value 2. Next if Element, search element 30 is equal to A of 2, middle value 
value is a of 2 is 30. 30 is equal to 30. Then it says the location value as middle value that is 2. Then one more condition is there. If location value is greater than equal to 0. The 2 location value is 2. 2 is greater than 0. Then it executes this statement. The search element is present at location 2. One more example. Suppose in this data structure only, suppose you give the search element 2, then B0 is 4, while 0 is less than 4, then it finds the middle value 0 plus 4 divided by 2, 2. The next condition if 20 is equal to A of 2. A of 2 is 30. 20 is not equal to 30. Then it goes the one more if condition. And just see 20 is less than A of 2. A of 2 is 30. 20 is less than 30. It is true. Then it finds out the end value by decrementing the middle value by 1. That is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Now the end value changes from 4 to 1. B, say value E, 1. Next again check the while condition. 0 is less than equal to 1. 0 is less than 1. Again find out the middle value using P and E value as 0 plus 1 divided by 2. We will get the floating point value that is 0 0.5. Then we have to take the round up value that is integer value 0. Then middle, now middle value is 0. The next condition if 20 is equal to A of 0. See here A of 0 is 10. 20 is not equal to 10. Next, one more condition checks the whether the 20 is less than 10. Again, 20 is not less than 10, then it find out the beginning value. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Then again it go to the while loop. Then 1 is less than or equal to 1. Yes, it is less than 1. Then again it find out the middle value. 1 plus 1 divided by 2. Now we get the middle value 1. Next, again check the condition if 20 is equal to A of 1. A of 1 is 20. Yes, 20 is equal to 20. Is true. Then it says the location value as young. Young value is 1. Then location value is set as 1. Then it breaks the condition and execute the statement where the location value is greater than equal to 0. Yes, 1 is greater than 0. Then it executes this statement. The search element is present at location 1. One more example. Suppose we enter the search element 50. The A is greater as 50. B equal to 0. E is 5 minus 1. 4. Why? 0 is less than is equal to 4. Yes, 0 is less than 4. Then find out the middle value. 0 plus 4 divided by 2, then we we'll get the value 2. If 50 is equal to A of 2, A of 2 is 30, 50 is not equal to 30. Then it goes to the next statement. 50 is less than A of 2, 50 is less than 30. Again, okay. this statement becomes false. Then it finds the begin value. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. That is young plus 1. Young is 2 plus 1. Now 3. B value is 3. The next moment B value changes from 0 to 3. Then E value same as, as it is 4. Why? 3 is less than equal to 4. 3 is less than 4. Then again it, it finds out the middle value. 3 plus 4 divided by 2 will get the answer 3.5 floating point value but we have to consider the integer value that is 3. Next, 50 is equal to A of 3. A of 3 is 40. 50 is equal to 40? No. 
In the next statement, whether the 50 is less than 40? No. Again, it finds out the beginning value. B is equal to M plus 1. That is 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Now, B value changes from 3 to 4. 4, then E value remains same. Next, in Y loop, again checks the condition whether the beginning value is less than equivalent to end value. 4 is not less than 4, but it is equivalent to 4. Again checks, uh, find out the middle value. 4 plus 4 divided by 2, you will get the answer 4. Then, in the next control statement, it checks the condition if 50 is equivalent to A of 4. A of 4 is 50. Yes, it is equal to 50. Then it says the location value as 4. And press the statement here only. And then it goes to the next if condition statement. Then it checks the condition whether the second location value is greater than equal to 0 or not. If it is greater than or equal to 0. Yes, 4 is greater than 0. Then it executes the statement. The search element 50 is present at location 4. Thank you.